Hello and welcome to the annual awards ceremony. My name is Erin Lasher and I'm the Director of Student Involvement and Leadership for the College of Idaho. As much as we would love to be in Simplot Dining Hall and join a banquet in each other's company, we have chosen to do this event virtually due to COVID-19. Thank you for tuning in. <laughs> What in the world are you two doing? We're, we're practicing. I mean, for what? We have to give away scholarships, not rewrite Beethoven or something. Uh, right. Yeah, let's do the scholarship. Right, Seriously, right, right, right. let's do the guys. All right, let's see. For this. We have got the, the Lewis and Jeanette Power Award this year. I don't know if you guys knew this. Goes to Brandon and Nathan Cockrell. <laughs> James Gavard Memorial Scholarship for Outstanding Choral Student goes to Peyton Fleming. All right. Hey, hey, hey. Yeah. Uh, last but not least, the Outstanding Senior Music Student Award this year goes to Nicole Blackmer. And this year, our outstanding Spanish major is Nicole Geisy. Nicole is a dedicated and hardworking student. She has put time and energy into learning Spanish and has just been uh, a joy to have in our program. Uh, I have been able to work with Nicole over the past few years as she develops her, her speaking skills and her writing skills. Uh, Nicole has shown uh, dedication coming to um, uh, to visit whenever she has a paper due, whenever she's working on a project, making sure that she's on the right path. I've also seen her uh, develop speaking skills in context with native speakers of Spanish and the the way that she has challenged herself to get outside of her comfort zone has been um, just encouraging to watch and fun to see that she has um, stepped out and challenged herself in that way. So Nicole, congratulations. We look forward to seeing what your future holds. Our outstanding Spanish minor this year is Stephanie Hamilton Rubio. And Spanish, we have so many Spanish minors and it's always a challenge to select one of our outstanding students. We have chosen Stephanie this year because she has been a thoughtful, um, dedicated student who has taken joy in her learning and in different assignments that we've seen, creative assignments, as well as the, the daily close readings of texts that we do in our upper division literature classes. She has stood out to the Spanish faculty with her thoughtfulness and with the comments that she contributes to class discussions, even though she may not be the perhaps the loudest voice in the classroom, you can see as, um, as we're working through a text that she's thinking, that she's considering, um, and that she is, um, is really learning and, and considering carefully the, the discussion at hand. So Stephanie, congratulations, and uh, we look forward to seeing what the future has in store for you as well. Hi, uh, my name is Garth Clarsen. I teach in the uh, Department of Art and Design at the College of Idaho. And it's my privilege to announce the winners of uh, the annual scholarship awards. Uh, the first uh, scholarship award winner I want to talk about is uh, the winner of the Alice Wolf Scholarship. Uh, that is Jasmine Stansu. Jasmine is gifted and very hardworking in both studio and academic subjects. She excels at close reading and analysis. 
and has the ability to see interesting connections in the material. Her reading responses and essays for our upper level course on Picasso were models in this respect. The next awardee uh, is for the Nona King Award. Uh, this is Kirsten Lancaster. Uh, Kirsten has performed strongly in art history classes and is very talented. She's especially good at three-dimensional uh, studies in ceramics. Her hand-building skills in the latter are exceptional. Open to new ideas, she's very hard-working, articulate, and supportive of her peers and critiques. The next award is for the Ken Mann Scholarship, and this goes to Peyton Bates. Peyton is very hard-working, has a very strong sense of design, and is technically accomplished in both two- and three-dimensional studies. She is comfortable shifting between hands-on and digital art, often using the two in combination. She's an insightful writer who's performed excellently in art history classes. Uh, for the Nofsinger Art Scholarship, there are five awardees. The first is uh, Jonathan Armott. Uh, Jonathan is especially good in three-dimensional design and digital work. He's a disciplined worker with an ability to devise a variety of very imaginative solutions for projects. He's astute and, astute and very helpful in classroom critiques. The second awardee is Rebecca Briscoe. Rebecca's work is currently on display in the senior exhibition at the Rosenthal Gallery. She excels in making large, opulent and beautifully organised mixed media pieces. Her current work is about the place of bees in our ecological system. A serious subject she treats with charm and humour. She's very supportive of her fellow students and critiques. The third Nofsinger Award goes to Krista Hamill. Krista has, Krista has very wide-ranging technical skills in drawing, illustration and painting. She's especially good at brainstorming through the use of thumbnail sketches. She always sets herself very high standards in the execution of projects and is articulate and helpful in art critiques. Krista is also a very strong writer. The fourth uh, Nofsinger Award goes to Jesus Mendoza. Jesus is strong in both studio and art history. He sets high standards for himself in drawing, uh, being prepared to work and rework projects until he is satisfied. Modest about his own work, he's helpful to his peers during critiques. His art history uh, responses are thoughtful, well supported and insightful. It's very good at framing productive questions about the material. Samantha Soper is the fifth and final recipient of the Nofsinger Award. Uh, Samantha excels both in academics and studio work. Her drawings are always well observed, beautifully executed and strikingly composed. Uh, she's also willing to move out of her comfort zone in art. Her written self-assessments of her work and her reading responses and papers in art history are all thoughtful, articulate, insightful and gracefully expressed. Hello everyone, my name is Chris Walser and I am a professor of biology and environmental studies at the college. As the chair of the ES department, I have the distinct pleasure of announcing this year's award winners. Our first award is the Outstanding Senior Award in Environmental Studies. And this award is given to one or more graduating seniors in recognition of their extraordinary academic excellence and noteworthy engagement with environmental advocacy. This year's Outstanding Senior Award goes to Hasmin Nunes Scolari. Congratulations, Hasmin. Hasmin has impressed the ES faculty in so many ways but her capacity to connect concepts and information across different disciplines has been unmatched. As last year's ELI award winner, Hasmin spent the summer of 2020 working on sustainable development issues in her home country of Paraguay. On campus, Hasmin has contributed to the Sustainability Stewards, Terra Club, and the Outdoor Program. On behalf of all the ES faculty, we will miss you, Hasmin, and all the positive energy that you brought to our classes. Again, congratulations. Our second award is the Outstanding Citizenship Award in Environmental Studies. And this award is given to a graduating senior who has demonstrated exemplary environmental citizenship 
to include service to the ES department and the College of Idaho campus and the local community. This year's Outstanding Citizenship Award in Environmental Studies goes to Yasser Mushir. Congratulations, Yasser. Yasser has been a model member of our community. He demonstrates a deep understanding of both the academic and social aspects of environmental citizenship. He has made significant contributions to the college's outdoor program and interfaith council. He works extremely hard to get his community connected to the natural world. And Yasser's contributions to the College of Idaho will without a doubt have a lasting impact on campus life. So again, congratulations to both our award winners this year. Um, it's been wonderful having you in my classes and uh, we wish you the best of luck going forward. It's my absolute pleasure to give out on behalf of the English department two awards this year. First, the Clyde Swisher Memorial Scholarship and second, the Caxton Book Award. The Clyde Swisher Memorial Scholarship is an endowed scholarship that this year will cover the full cost of tuition for two exceptional juniors. Clyde Swisher was an English major at the College of Idaho who went on to devote his life to teaching, reading, and celebrating literature and creative writing. Nationally recognized for his talents as a teacher, he chose to make the College of Idaho the beneficiary of his philanthropy. This year, the English department is delighted to announce two winners of the scholarship, Coral Sisko and Corinna Lanes. According to the English department faculty, Coral is a confident and astute reader of literature and her contributions to class discussions are a mixture of insightful, practical, humorous, and whimsical. Her maturity and delight in literature and writing made an immediate and memorable impression on many of us. Coral runs her own nonprofit and she works like crazy, but always is grateful for it. One department member said simply, Coral is wicked smart. We appreciate Coral not just for her brains, but also for her spirit of kindness and friendliness. She's warm and effusive and always a delight to be around. The English department members describe Corinna as quiet and modest with a sharp mind. Corinna's approach and demeanor to our field of study is always engaged and thoughtful. When she speaks up in class, it is always with a gem of a thought or with an exploratory inquisitiveness that reflects her actively processing mind. She is a fantastic poet. Her fiction is multi-layered and blends the intellectual with the creative. Karina's approach to literature is meditative and self-reflective, and she processes with her heart and her mind, pressing issues such as indigenous rights, migration, border politics, and intergenerational divides. Coral and Karina, congratulations. The winner of the Caxton Book Award for an outstanding junior is Abby Chang. The English department faculty describe Abby as absolutely brilliant. She is a quiet leader. She is an engaged writer and scholar, but not just on paper. Abby embodies the personal in the intellectual in the humanities tradition, as she is always exploring ways to apply her literary studies knowledge to activism and allyship. Abby seeks to cultivate stronger intercommunal connections and a healthier planet. Abby's ability to close read a poem or a novel and to craft melt in your mouth conclusions to her papers has awed us all in the English department. Abby, congratulations. Our first award goes to Sadie Dittenberg for editing. Uh, she is a journalism minor. Uh, I think I've taught her in four classes. Uh, she's a fine writer. And I think this award is because she has not only almost single-handedly given life to the coyote at a very difficult time, uh, she has graced it with heart and commitment. Um, she's a serious young woman, and she is someone who has real values, and you can see that in every word that she writes. So the editing award goes to Sadie Bittenberg. The award for writing in journalism goes to Corinna Iyanis, who is a soulful young woman, and 
her soul shows up in everything that she writes. She's a caring and intelligent uh, person who was, I think this is her, she's a journalism minor, I think I've also had her four times. Um, her writing is both distinctive and elegant and thoughtful. Uh, she is someone who um, has taken to journalistic writing and nonfiction with a poet's eye and with great elegance. Hi, this is Dr. Mel to talk about student awards. The Business and Accounting Department has three outstanding student awards that are given each year. One each for a student majoring in business, accounting, and marketing and digital media. The outstanding student awards are the highest honor given to students by the Business and Accounting Department. These outstanding students were selected by the department faculty based on their exceptional academic achievement. Also taken into consideration was participation in business department organizations and in college organizations or sports. All three of this year's recipients are to be applauded for their dedication, high academic achievement, and involvement on campus. They exemplify the utmost in business leadership qualities. The Outstanding Business Student Award goes to Kat Murgis. Kat has been actively involved in a student organization and held leadership roles in that organization. She has very high academic standards in the business department. She obtained the Albertsons internship in the summer of 2019, 2020, I'm sorry, and then was asked to continue to work during her senior year. So she balanced her academics with her internship and will continue working with them. So congratulations to Kat Murgis, our outstanding business student. The outstanding marketing and digital media student goes to Madison Najima. And Madison also involved with a student organization and held leadership roles. She did participate in varsity athletics and in summer of 2020 received the Albertsons internship again was asked to stay and continued working during her senior year, balancing her academics and her um, work with Albertsons. So congratulations, Madison Najima, for the Marketing and Digital Media Outstanding Student Award. Hello, my name is Chris Earn, and I'm with the Business and Accounting Department. It is my pleasure to announce this year's Outstanding Accounting Student, Riley Cottom. Riley is a homeschooled GED graduate and is the first in his family to complete more than a year of college. He transferred to the College of Idaho in spring 2020. He made an impact immediately in his classes and on campus. His performance in the classroom is stellar. He is a great participant with thoughtful questions, offering insight and enhances classes by keeping his camera on, which I truly appreciate. Outside of class, Riley has tutored hundreds of students in accounting and statistics for a number of years, has held a leadership role in campus ministries, and has been a technical writer and customer service associate for a solar company. In addition, Riley is currently the team captain for the college's Chartered Financial Analyst Research Challenge. The team took first place in their division and the team has now moved on to the regional competition. Go Yotes! Due to Riley's accomplishments in his coursework, along with his outgoing personality, he has secured a highly competitive summer audit internship with KPMG in Boise, where I know he will glean real life business and accounting experiences. Along with me, please congratulate Riley on being this year's outstanding accounting student. Thank you. Hello everyone, my name is Chris Walser and I am a professor of biology and environmental studies here at the college. This year I have the distinct pleasure of announcing the winner of the Eric Jensen Ecology Award. This award is named after biology professor and ecologist Dr. Eric Jensen who taught at the college for over 30 years. The award is given to a graduating senior in recognition of their extraordinary academic achievements, as well as their contributions to ecology. This year's Eric Jensen Ecology Award goes to Andrew Wymore.
congratulations, Andrew. Andrew has excelled in all, his, all of his ecology classes uh, here at the college. He often asks very thoughtful questions which demonstrate a deep understanding of ecology. During the summer of 2019 and 2020, Andrew worked as a Murdoch researcher in my lab to better understand the ecology of intermittent streams. And since 2019, Andrew has presented the results of his research at six professional scientific conferences with more to come. So um, what an incredible effort. I'm, I'm extremely proud of, of Andrew and all the work that he's done. So again, congratulations to Andrew. Hi, I'm Wendy Harvey from the Biology Department, and I'm here to introduce this year's award recipient for the Patricia L. Packard Award for Excellent in Botany, Christina Riddle. I met Christina in Organismal Lab last spring. Not only did she have a wonderful collection of fun, witty, science-related t-shirts to share with the lab each week, but it was apparent from the get-go that she had a passion for science, in particular, plant physiology and botany. Lab was always fun with Christina because she was willing and excited to dig into plant specimens or jump into any experiment. A lot involving plants. I know she's looking forward to upcoming field courses and being in person, as we all are. Congratulations, Christina. Hi there, welcome to the 2021 Psychology Department Awards. Here are the 2021 graduating psychology majors eligible to join the Sci-Chi International Honor Society in Psychology. They are Brianna Barta, Ansel Bryant, Sophia Jackson, and Ryan Wilson. Congratulations. Next, the Outstanding Senior in Psychology and the Outstanding Junior in Psychology, awarded for Outstanding GPA. The Outstanding Senior in Psychology for 2021 is awarded to Shania Fox. The Outstanding Junior in Psychology for 2021 is awarded to Rosal Alfatilha. Next, the Outstanding Senior in Service, and the Outstanding Junior in Service. The 2021 Outstanding Senior in Service Award is awarded to Stephanie Hamilton Rubio. The 2021 Outstanding Junior in Service is awarded to Celeste Horton. Finally, the Kenneth Mann Scholarship for Psychology and Art. The 2021 Kenneth Mann Scholarship is awarded to Jasmine Stanchu. Thank you and congratulations to this year's winners. It is my privilege to present one of our awards for Outstanding Student in Anthropology and Sociology. My award goes to Armando Guerrero. So we consider a few different factors for this award. Academic achievement is a big part of it, and we also think about contributions to the department, to the college, and the wider community. People who volunteer their time and generally find a variety of ways to be a good friend, a good citizen, and to boost social solidarity. I've learned a lot from Armando in all these areas, and I'll give you a few examples. I've learned from his work itself. Armando is a, a student who's taken my advice seriously to develop his own research agenda across our different courses, and he's done fascinating work, especially on the uh, topic of sexuality, gender, ethnicity, and the intersections between these things. 
So Armando's becoming an expert and his work is excellent. And I personally benefit when I read it, which is always a great plus when I'm grading work. I also benefited personally when Armando served as a research assistant during my sabbatical a couple of years ago. Uh, the first study from that research recently got published, and I think there's likely more to come. Uh, Armando was a great colleague, and he helped me immensely. He did really great work as a research assistant. I've also learned a lot from Armando as a person. Um, we all know how brutal the last year has been for different people. Uh, to different degrees, but everyone has been suffering in a variety of terrible ways. Um, Armando has struggled too, he's no exception, but he is so resilient and that inspires me. He persists even while he's juggling a million things at once, while going to school, working a job and everything else. Over the last few years, Armando has also found a way to serve as a student leader, uh, working in ALICE, in Student Senate, and much more. He's very active on our campus. Again, building solidarity, building community. I also wanna point out that regardless of how hard things are, Armando is kind. Uh, he's always deeply respectful of others, at least in my experience. He's also funny. And he knows how to lift, uh, lift people's spirits, which is so very important, especially in times like these. Again, though, Armando does impressive academic work. He's grown immensely, and the way he's done it is by persisting through challenges. He takes up the challenge, and he goes for it, and that's how he grows. That's how he's arrived at the point he's at right now. And so I want to end by sharing a relevant quote um, from Armando from a recent class session. So Armando is currently in my methods class. We've been working on inferential statistics and this stuff is hard. Uh, the other day I was asking for volunteers to help interpret a complicated analysis. Um, no one responded and we kind of sat there for a few seconds and I saw Armando's hand go up and he sort of sighed um, and he said, ah, I'm pretty confused, so I'll volunteer. I know I may have misquoted a little there, I'm not sure, but that was the gist of what he said. He was confused and that is why he volunteered. So Armando, don't ever forget that. It is immensely wise. That's how you learn. And that's a big part of why you Armando are such an outstanding student. So congratulations and I want you to know how proud we are of you. All right, thank you very much. Hello, I'm Sean Blackwell, criminal justice and sociology instructor. It's my pleasure today to present one of the Anthrosoch Department's outstanding student awards to our superb Mihaela. Throughout her time in our program, Mihaela has represented excellence, dedication, and open-mindedness. Whether it's a class discussion, a midterm essay, a creative project, or a casual chat, Mihaela not only displays a strong grasp of whatever material is under consideration, but also infuses these outputs and interactions with careful consideration of her intersectional and positional identities. Speaking of intersectionality, it's been my pleasure to host Mihaela in many classes, but most notably my intersectionality class. Mihaela was such a valuable member of that learning community that I invited her to join me, Kyle Cheesewright, Jen Wallen-Rushman, and Nadia Rahimatpur as a Wells Fargo representation, inclusion, and equity grant project collaborator. Whew for which we're completing an extended multi-method research project that seeks to revise and update that course curriculum. So I'm really proud to now refer to Mihaela as my colleague, as well as my student. As Mihaela prepares for graduate school, a gap year, or whatever seems best to her, I'm confident that she's going to continue to be a person who exemplifies the virtues and practices we seek to promote in our program. In short, Mihaela is going to make a difference. Mihaela, on your best and worst days, remember this award, which signifies our confidence in and respect for you and your hard work. Hi folks, I'm David Douglas. I serve as Provost and Dean of the Faculty here at the College of Idaho. And I, it's, I'm just delighted to congratulate you on your induction into the Scarab Society. Uh, this is a really important moment and I wish I could be here uh, in person, but uh, the waning days of pandemic mean that we continue to be online. And so a video tape recording is the best I can do. Uh, 
I actually have a speech for this occasion, but I can't, I can't bear to give it. It seems to me just a little too artificial even for me. And so um, I thought I would just tell you about some of the things that I might have said if we'd had a chance to be in person. Uh, and I, I, I have it right here in front of me. Um, you know, it might interest you to know the Scarab Society goes back over 75 years uh, to before World War II, a group of faculty wishing to honor the very best students at graduation concocted this idea. And um, the threshold for entry is 3.5. 0.9 cumulative GPA and above, uh, which is an extraordinarily difficult thing to do, as you all know. Um, it really means that you never have enough day off semester. Uh, that you you can I've crunched the numbers. The esoteric mystery of grade point average calculation is not known to just anybody, but I can tell you that um, at least in my mathematics, it means that you could get a one B a year, uh, four in total. That's it. Um, two C's ever. Anything beyond that. Uh, has to be an A, otherwise you don't achieve membership in the Scarab Society. Um, and so over the course of your four years, this is a really, really difficult thing to do. And I congratulate you on your achievement. Uh, you may wonder why it's the Scarab Society, and I actually have a little bit of information in the speech about that. Um, you may know, if you've ever seen the classic series of films, The Mummy, uh, the Scarab is the beetle that crawls under people's skin and uh, eats them. Uh, it's often associated with Egypt, although the Scarab beetle actually appears in every continent except our Antarctica, interestingly enough. Um, you might also know something about the scarab beetle's habit of rolling balls of dung across the ground. And I, I have a, what I find to be a hilarious reference in here about, you know, in order to get good grades, you might think you have to eat a lot of poop. It's sensitive. It's not out of taste. But in any case, uh, that's there as well. There are other interesting metaphorical references to scarabs and, and uh, earning good grades. Um, for example, there are nocturnal creatures, and most good students that I know uh, do much of their work in the dark of night. Uh, similarly, the natural enemy of scarab beetles are bats, the American toad, and various reptiles. And likewise, I think many good students also instinctively fear these animals. Um, archaeologists have discovered scarab beetles carved into sarcophagi and all manner of other uh, relics from antiquity. Um, it was conceived to be a sacred figure, at least in ancient Egypt. They imagined that the scarab uh, helped roll the sun across the sky, uh, like the sun god Ra. And as a consequence, they conceived this to be an, an, a symbol of renewal, uh, of rebirth. Uh, that every day the sun comes again, and similarly the scarab itself was a symbol of the rebirth that they hoped for, for themselves and for their loved ones. And uh, so it has lived on low these many years uh, into, you know, the, the second century from the period in which it was invented. And of course, you know, in our context as a liberal arts college, I think partly it's an inside joke, you know, the kind of joke that entomologists and liberal arts students would appreciate that is the Scarab Society is represented by this beetle, uh, and it's an extraordinarily difficult achievement to, to have. So, so there you have it. Um, but there is a, a nice and more serious, I think, uh, symbolic entitlement here, which is that, um, you know, the Scarab represents rebirth renewal. Your education, we hope, will sustain you over the long course of your lives uh, as a constant source of, of interest, of curiosity, uh, and renewal in your life and the lives of those around you. In any case, again, a remarkable achievement. I look forward to an opportunity if one arises to be able to say congratulations in person. In the meantime, this will have to do uh, from the depths of my heart and on behalf of all the faculty. Uh, well done, each of you, and congratulations on this achievement. The Thomas E. Shearer Service and Leadership Award recognizes outstanding seniors for their service and commitment to the College of Idaho and the student body here. This award commemorates Dr. Thomas E. Shearer, who is a past president of the College of Idaho, and it is my pleasure to today announce the 2021 recipients. Dharma Koffer, congratulations on being selected as a recipient of this award. We truly appreciate your commitment to Model UN, tutoring, speech and debate, and many other areas of campus involvement. Kaya Evans, congratulations on being recognized as a recipient of this award. We're grateful for your leadership on the women's soccer team, as well as your tremendous efforts towards diversity and inclusion through your work in student government and other areas of campus. 
Shania Fox, congratulations on being selected as a recipient of this award. We truly appreciate the ways in which you've represented the college through your research and research presentations, in addition to your services as a tutor, a student ambassador, and in many other areas. Yasser Mashir, congratulations on being recognized as a recipient of this award. We are thankful for your commitment to raising awareness and building community through your involvement in numerous clubs and campus organizations, including Interfaith Council, Outdoor Program, and Afro Club. Trent Rodden, congratulations on being selected as a recipient of this award. Your commitment to student government in the past four years, in addition to being an ambassador and a representative of the college is truly appreciated. again, it's Erin Lasher, the Director of Student Involvement. I'm so excited to present the College of Idaho Involvement Award to the following students. Our first student is Montana Milton. Montana has been involved in campus since day one. Not only has she been the swim team recruiting captain, she has also been a WELP mentor, an academic tutor, and the Omicron Delta Kappa Circle President, which is the college's honor society. She has also made time for service, volunteering at elementary schools, voter registration events, and the Canyon County Small Animal Hospital. Congrats, Montana. We wish you the best of luck in your endeavors. Our next involvement award goes to Cameron Coyle. To say this young woman has been involved in campus is a huge understatement. I think she's done just about everything a person can do during their four years in college. Cameron is a lead student ambassador for the College of Idaho Admission Office. She has been a McCall Experience Wilderness Leader, a biology research student, and she's been a huge part of our College of Idaho women's soccer team. I've been really lucky to get to know Cameron, and I know she has an extremely bright future ahead of her. Congratulations, Cameron. Our next involvement award goes to Sophie Trobich. It was wonderful to see Sophie in her capacity as the chair of the sustainability committee. She worked hard with different entities on campus to promote sustainability and being green. Additionally, Sophie has served as an RA as well as founded the Ecofeminist Student Union. To top it all off, she's a Gibson scholar with a knack for ending up on the Dean's list. Congrats, Sophie. We're so excited to see how you changed the world. Our next involvement award goes to Cameron Hamrick. I've gotten to know Cameron in his capacity as the ASCI treasurer over this last year. During his time as, at C of I, Cameron has been involved in several areas of campus. He served as the president of the pre-law club, an ASCI senator, member of the student athletic advisory committee, an RA, and a collegiate athlete for the College of Idaho football program. Not one to give up, Cameron joined the football team as a coach after an injury left him unable to play. Cameron will be heading to law school this fall where we know he will flourish. Congrats, Cameron. Our next College of Idaho Involvement Award goes to Aaliyah Mendiola. I wish there was also some sort of positivity award I could give Aaliyah as she always, always, always has a smile on her face. Aaliyah has been heavily involved in ASCI Senate, serving as this year's ASCI Secretary. She has been a McCall Wilderness Experience leader, a WELP mentor, as well as a rock star athlete for the women's softball program. We're very confident Miss Mendiola will change the world. Congrats, Aaliyah. Our final recipient of the College of Idaho Involvement Award is Jacob Russell. Often referred to as the nicest guy on campus, Jacob has spent his four years at C of I helping others and contributing to his community. Jacob has been a team leader for campus ministries, a teacher's assistant, and a two-sport athlete for the college's men's basketball team and men's track and field team. Somehow, Jacob finds a lot of time to volunteer with various organizations such as the Hope House, Friendship Foundation, and also being a WELT mentor. Congratulations, Jacob. Uh, hey everyone, my name is Becky Ahichiriza, and I'm here to present the Abot Award to Esther Eziogu. The award is given to an outstanding junior who upholds C of I values. I was honored to receive this last year and it's a greater honor to pass it along to my friend Esther Eziogu. Esther is a dedicated, smart and involved young lady and I first noticed her efforts when she first joined the ISO group and I've watched her quickly take on roles in Afro Club, with the ambassadors and also helping out with the basketball team and i'm sure she is involved in other areas that we may not know about uh, she makes people feel welcome on this campus 
and is a very resourceful person as well. She's always happy and, you know, ready to help out anybody that needs help and where she can help. Um, dear Esther, continue to shine a light on this campus. We appreciate it. And continue being the nice person that you are and continue being helpful. Your efforts haven't gone unnoticed. And I am really proud of you and happy to present this award to you this year. You totally deserve it. Thank you. Thank you so much, everyone. Um, my Abit Award choice is Christian Garcia. Uh, Christian Garcia has been someone that I've been admiring since his freshman year. I mean, his work and leadership with so many different groups on campus has been amazing. Um, and lately, his work with on uh, diversity and inclusion problems and highlighting the minorities on campus uh, has been extremely pr impressive. Um, so for that, I believe Christian Garcia is someone who deserves this award, this award the most. And um, I want to congratulate you. And um, I want to tell you to keep up the good work uh, for next year. Um, and um, please keep the bar as high as you can. Um, so yeah, congratulations again and have a good night. Hey, I'm Tyler Mann. I'm the head swim coach at College of Idaho. Uh, one of our seniors, Andrew Clifford, got nominated for the Male Scholar Athlete Award and the Outstanding Male Senior Athlete Award, and he actually won both. Uh, Andrew's always been an awesome guy. He's one of the most coachable kids I've ever met. Uh, he's a hardworking student. He's truly just been a delight to have on the team. I mean, anyone who's gotten to know him really knows exactly why he deserves both of these awards. Uh, he is one of the greatest people you'll ever meet. On top of that, he's a phenomenal leader. Uh, he's a hard worker, and I know he's going to go on to do incredible things out in the world. Whatever it is that he chooses to do, uh, as of now, I believe he's been accepted and planning on going to OSU for graduate school. Uh, so congratulations, Andrew. Uh, we're really happy for you, and go Yotes. This is one of my favorite awards to present, as I believe it is what we try to emphasize with our athletes at the College of Idaho. While competing here at C of I, they're able to compete at a high level, but also keep academics as a focus in their decision making. This award is for student athletes who have accomplished the highest cumulative GPA at the College of Idaho, while also competing on an athletics team. We have the privilege of having one of those recipients on our team this year. On the women's team, Rachel Henderson is the college's Women's Scholar Athlete Award winner of the year. Aside from being able to compete at all our conference championships, those weren't the accolades that stick out on Rachel's resume. Rachel was able to balance working in at St. Luke's, interning as a medical scribe, volunteering at a, health, at a health clinic, being on the Dean's List every semester, tutoring three different departments at the College of Idaho, and held an executive position with Kappa Alpha Theta. While balancing all of this and track and field practice, Rachel has been able to attain a perfect 4.0. We'll go back to that real quick. At C of I, Rachel had a 4.0 and was doing athletics. Rachel's ability to manage all of these involvements aside from being a member of our team is one of the most impressive things that we have seen through our program. She excels in all aspects. We always try to set our athletes up to be in a position to succeed, and I have no doubt Rachel will be able to do this as she plans to continue her academic accomplishments in medical school. So without further ado, this year's Female Scholar Athlete Award winner, Rachel Henderson. The final award I get to present is a Women's Senior Athlete of the Year, voted upon by coaches in the athletic department for the athlete that achieved the most in their time here at the College of Idaho. This year's recipient is Peyton DeRocher. I love this award and the opportunity to present it because it shows the continuity we have as an athletics department and the intention to detail we have for other sports. Peyton is a great representative of not only our team, but the school as a whole, especially when you look at what she's accomplished here as a student athlete. With awards still to be released this spring, Peyton has already been a member of the Dean's List multiple times. She's a member of the Cascade Conference All Academic Team multiple times. She's a five-time qualifier for the NAIA National Championships. She has multiple all-conference awards. She was a SAC representative for the track and field team for three years, and she was our team captain for the 2020 and 2021 seasons. 
As everyone on the track and field team knows, Peyton's accolades are not a true reflection of what she's been able to contribute to our team, especially through this pandemic. I highly doubt that Peyton could list all these awards that she has, but with these awards, it's a pretty fair representation of what she's accomplished here athletically, but it doesn't truly tell the story of Peyton's contributions to our team. She's been selfless in a number of contributions she has made, often putting other success in front of her own. She's helped mentor our younger groups and showed them how to work and be a team first athlete. Peyton is an athlete that will always give you her best effort and has truly grown into a leader of our women's program. The lasting impressions she will leave with her team are her selflessness, her courage, and her incredible work ethic. If there is a silver lining to COVID, it's that Peyton has an extra year of eligibility and she'll be able to continue her track career next year at Idaho State University as she pursues a doctorate of pharmacy. So without further ado, this year's Senior Athlete of the Year, Peyton DeRocher.